you guys and welcome back to Norris Cove. Today we'll be, we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in for some and of course we're going to do an overview of last week. This video will be a little late getting to you guys but let's get started. If that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so for last week, March the 21st through the 27th, um, we anticipated 700 for hair. We made 730. Um, nails, um, 30. We made 30. Um, Norse Cove, we anticipated around 50 because I was doing a new release and we ended up with about 58. I do need to double check this, but this is around about the number here. Um, miscellaneous was the buffer in my account. So I just put a slash through that. And I just totaled $918. And then we paid T-Mobile. They got their $284. Um, I didn't pay PayPal. Because I had paid it up, there was no payment due. And I just didn't want to send them $50. So there's that. <laughs> Capital One, we gave them $50. Even though they're not due to the 15th, we went ahead and just gave them $50 while we had it. And my booth rent, $250. We paid that. And car insurance, we put it on this week because it's the week that it would be coming out but we also had it on this week am i making sense yeah we also have it on this week because we needed the money in there to go over to next week if that makes sense so i, I don't you'll see it twice but um that's only because of we needed to make sure that we had the amount in there because it comes out on monday so that's and then that's this bills last week income last week and then here's the total amount that i paid which was 790 dollars it doesn't seem like that but it's what oh and then this is just from my a6 where i jot down um, my weekly check-in and you'll see that 790 here and everything was paid and of course i marked out paypal i didn't meet my goals as far as paying extra on barclays and Citibank. but i will say this you guys my after i'm paying extra Taking my tax money, giving every credit card extra, paying off three things. My credit card, excuse me, my credit score went about 45 points with Equifax and I think about 10 with Experian. And I had to travel. I went to my niece's baby shower, so I spent some money there. So we had that, but that was a part of the little buffer as well. So let's get into this week. So again, using one of my new highlighters. If you want to know, this is 076. And this week is April, I mean, excuse me, not April, March 28th through April 2nd. Okay, again, my sources of income is hair. Um, I'll put $750 down for this week. It's a little busier, maybe a little bit more, but I just like to rock with this $750. Um, again, if you're new here, I'm a self-employed hairstylist, so my income fluctuates. And this is where I'm about sitting right about now every week. Um, and this is good, but it's not it's not good, but it is good, being that I don't have all my clients back from COVID or the pandemic. And next up will be nails. I don't to my knowledge, have any nail clients this week. I don't want any nail clients this week. I'm ready for a break from nails because I'm ready to stop it again. But um, I'm trying to hang in there to August. Um, I got a lot of compliments on my nails this weekend, but I was out of town. Um, I got some last week and I gave a lady my information. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just not tripping nails. I just don't trip on. It's like a hobby slash little extra income. Norris Cove, I'm not putting anything down for Norris Cove this week because I don't know what's going on with my machines. My machine was acting up doing orders. Oh my God, it was a mess. All of my printers are tripping and I just don't have the money to invest in those things right now. I don't want to close my shop, but um, I just shut everything off, hoping everything will just work itself out on its own. So this week won't be any new releases. Um, so I don't anticipate anything with that. And miscellaneous, I still have a buffer in my account, but I don't want to dip into it. So right now, let's say we got 750 that we're working with. Um, so here's my cheat sheet for my A6. Car insurance came out today. 
but that was that money from last week so we don't have to add that uh GoDaddy was actually supposed to come out this week it came out last week or did that come out this week i think it came out yesterday i'm gonna go ahead and put them down go daddy and this is my email service and that was seven dollars and 41 cent i'm gonna put them down for the 29th uh booth rent and cloth and paper I don't think I'll get rid of my subscription. I did it one time and I, I, I regretted it. Um, Amazon, that normally comes about the first or the second. I'm gonna put it on the second. And they go up, I believe. So I think it's gonna be $14.77. Community Bank is due on the second and I'm giving them $50. I feel like there's something else that I'm missing um, I'm going to write this down, but well, I've already paid those, so I'm not going to, I may not even have to pay Community Bank. If there's extra, I'm going to put that down here in my notes. We're going to concentrate on the bills that I do on the 4th and the 5th, um, if extra. Even though I've paid on those already, I want to still give them some money to keep it going down. Pay extra on... Uh, credit one and actually Walmart Walmart I only owe 96 more dollars I could easily give that to them but um, I want to give them they're not due to next week so I want to give them about $50 um, so that's part of next week's bill so we'll worry about that then um, that's it I don't think I have anything else on the agenda so let's do a little calculating so we have a total of a three sixty eighteen. And over here I had three sixty forty one, but it's okay. Three sixty eighteen. I'm gonna highlight my total area. So, so far, it's not looking like I have a lot um, to pay. Prayerfully, I don't because one of the main things I wanted to do when I was paying everything down was to free up a lot of this first of the month activity and getting rid of Lane Bryant, um, Victoria's Secrets, and Ulta. I paid Ulta off. And those three things right there, they were just unnecessary credit cards. That freed me up of about maybe... $80. So that really helped me out. And plus my credit score went up. So yay for that. So I'm going to try to do save my tips this week so I can start um, adding to my sinking funds. I'm trying to get some new things from my shop and I may have to dip into my emergency fund. I really don't want to. Um, I'm going to try to get the price down and maybe I can use some of my buffer or one of my smaller credit cards that I could pay off. So that's it, you guys. This is what we have going on for the week. I'm going to pop this in. Oh, if y'all see some extra stuff on my desk, I mean, that machine was driving me so freaking crazy. I was just like, I want to close my shop down <laughs> because it was working my nerves. Here we go. And I don't have any extra notes to add this week because... Everything worked out. So, again, next week we'll check back in and see what are my final totals for hair. Um, I should be doing a monthly overview, roundup, budget check-in, whatever you want to call it. I'll probably have that Monday. And um, that's it, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.